Hello, my precious friends. I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to today's class. It's our 10th lesson on a given form 3 mathematics topic called Commercial Arithmetics 2. So we are looking at our 21st example, which is a past cases equation that was tested in 1995, paper 1, question number 15. It reads that the cash price of a television set is 25,000 shillings. A customer paid a deposit of 3,750 shillings. He repaid the amount owing in 24 equal monthly installments. If he was charged simple interest at a rate of 40% per annum, how much was each installment? So clearly from the question you can see we are given the cash price, we are also given the deposit, we are given the period of installment, and of course, you are given the rate of simple interest. So we are going to use a formula that is relating, uh, that is the total uh, installments and of course the amount of uh, simple interest in order for us to compute uh, the amount of uh, each installment. So the key thing to note here is that uh, the amount of simple interest, the amount of simple interest must always be equal to what we call the total installments. The amount of simple interest must be equal to uh, the total installment. So this is a formula that we were able to highlight uh, in our previous uh, lesson. Now, so we'll start by getting the amount of uh, simple uh, interest. So we say the amount of simple interest, the amount of uh, simple interest, of course, it will be given by the principal. Then you add the uh, simple interest so clearly from this formula we need to have the value of the uh, principal remember from the same same previous uh, lesson we said that uh, the principal uh, the principal will always be given by the difference between the cash price the difference between the cash price and the deposit so whenever you take the difference between the cash price and the deposit that should always give you the uh, principal so this will be equal to, we are told that the cash price of a television set was 25,000 shillings. Therefore, our cash price is 25,000 shillings minus the deposit we are given as 3,750 shillings. Therefore, 25,000 minus 3,750, you feed that on your calculator, you will get 21,200 50 shillings as our, our principal. Having gotten the principal, we can now compute what we call the amount of uh, simple uh, interest. So of course, clearly we've said here that uh, the amount, uh, the amount of simple interest must be equal to, uh, you take the principal, then you add the uh, simple interest. We know that the formula for simple interest is a uh, principal times rate times time, then of course divided by uh, 100. So this will be equal to our principal, we've gotten it as uh, 21,250, uh, then plus uh, the principal is still 21,250, uh, then multiplied by the rate, we are given that the rate of simple interest is 40% per annum. So the rate is 40%, of course I'll divide by 100 because it is a percentage, then multiplied by uh, the time because our rate, the rate is 40% per annum. So remember per annum simply means per year. So this one is in uh, one year. So that simply means that our, because our rate is in per annum or per year, that means that our period must also be expressed in years. Now the period was 24 months. Huh? So we know that one year, one year is equals to uh, 12 months. So what about 24 months? So remember, I'm converting at the time into years because my rate is given into per annum. Therefore, that means that the period must also be expressed per year. So if one year is 12 months, what about 24 months? So of course, this will be 24 uh, months, then divided by 12 months, and then of course multiplied by one year. Therefore, our time T will be equal to uh, 24 months, then of course divided by uh, 12. So of course we're going to simplify uh, this particular equation. So this will be equal to 
21,250 uh, then plus so two zeros will cancel out so this zero and this zero here so we're going to remain with 21 25 uh, then multiplied by 4 then multiplied by of course 12 into 12 1 uh, 12 into 24 that is 2 times so we're going to uh, remain with that so on further simplification uh, we are going to have the following so we'll have the amount uh, amount of simple interest uh, being equal to 21,250 uh, uh, then plus uh, this is the same as saying 21,25 uh, multiplied by uh, 4 multiplied by 2 of course this will give us uh, 8 so this will be equal to 21,250 uh, then plus if you take 2125 then you multiply with 8 this is what this is going to give us 17 a thousand shillings so if you take 21 to 50 uh, then plus 17,000 shillings you're going to get a total of 38,250 shillings therefore this is our amount of uh, simple interest but remember the target of the question was to get the uh, each installment and you've already said that the amount uh, the amount of simple interest must be equal to the total installment of course total installment uh, the total installment uh, total installment uh, which is always given by uh, the period multiplied by each installment so because we have the amount of um, simple interest which is equals to 38 uh, 250 we are going to equate to uh, the total installment which is uh, the period multiplied by uh, each installment so the period is uh, monthly so that means if we compute the installment they will be uh, in each month so the period will use it as 24 and uh, then of course multiplied by each installment if we want the answer per month we'll work with this one being equal uh, to 24 uh, month but if we wanted our answer per year of course we would divide this one by uh, 12 so to get the um, value of installment you're going to divide through by 24 we also divide through uh, by 24 so this will cancel out so it means that each installment will be given by 38,250 divided by uh, 24 you feed this on the calculator that is uh, 38 to 50 divided by 24 this will give us 1,593 and 75 cents. Therefore, this one simply means that each installment, uh, each installment, in fact, it is monthly. So it is each monthly installment, uh, each monthly installment, each monthly installment was equal to uh, shillings 1,593 and 75 cents that was the amount of uh, each installment we look at our example number 22 which is also a past case equation tested in 207 paper 2 question number 6 it reads that the cash price of a television set is 13,800 shillings a customer opts to buy the set on higher purchase term by a deposit uh, by paying a deposit of 2280 shillings if simple interest of 20 percent per annum is charged on the balance remember when we talk of the balance it is simply the difference between the cash price and the deposit or basically what we are calling the uh, principal and the customer is required to repay uh, by 24 equal monthly installments calculate the amount of uh, each installment so of course uh, we are going to use the same same uh, formula we know that the amount uh, the amount of uh, simple interest must be equal to the total installments must be equal to the total uh, installment so this is the formula that is going to guide our working therefore we'll start by getting the um, amount of simple interest so amount of a simple interest of course this will be equal to the principal then plus 
the simple interest. So from the formula, we clearly need to have the value of the uh, principal. So we know that principal uh, will be given by, you take the cash price, then of course you subtract the deposit. So cash price minus deposit will always give you the uh, principal. Now we were told that the cash price of the television set was uh, 13,800 shillings. So this is 13,800 minus the deposit was uh, 2,280 shillings. So you take 13,800 minus 2,280. Uh, you feed that on the calculator, you'll get a total of 11,520 shillings. Having gotten the principal, we can now get the amount of simple uh, interest. So we'll say the amount of simple interest, amount of simple interest will be given by the principal, which is P, then plus the simple interest. Remember, simple interest is given by principal times rate times time, then divided by 100, which will be equal to our principal is 11,520, then plus the principal is still 11,000, uh, 520 then we multiply with the rates of simple uh, interest was 20 percent per annum so this is 20 percent over 100 then multiplied by because the rate is per annum it means that the time must also be converted correct to uh, per annum or per year therefore the period is 24 months to convert into per year so i'll divide by 12. So remember i'm converting per year because the rate is given per year. So I want the rate and the time are being used to rhyme. So per annum means per year. That is why I'm converting my uh, time into years. So this will be equal to uh, 11,520. Uh, then of course I'm going to cancel uh, the two zeros. So I'm going to cancel uh, these two zeros on the second part of my equation. So this one is going to give me the following. So I'm having uh, 11,520 uh, then plus. So the two zeros here will cancel. So two zeros and two zeros will uh, cancel out. So that means I'm going to add uh, 1152 uh, then multiplied by, of course, a 12 here, one, a 12 into 24, this will be two. So by two multiplied by uh, two. So this one is going to simplify uh, into the following. So I'm going to have the following. So this will be equal to 11,520 then plus uh, 1152 uh, multiplied by 2 by 2. Of course, I'm going to get 4. That is 2 by 2. So this will be equal to 11,520 uh, then plus 1152 uh, multiplied by 4. This one is going to give you a total of 4,608 shillings. So 11,520 plus 4,608, this will give us a total of 16,128 shillings. Having gotten the amount of simple interest, we can now apply our formula. We had said that uh, the amount, amount of simple interest must be equal to the total installments, total installments. Then we know that total installments will be given by uh, the period multiplied by uh, each monthly installment. Therefore, the amount of simple interest, which is uh, 16,128, must be equal to the total installment will be period multiplied by each installment. So the period given was 24 months. So this is 24 multiplied by each installment. So to get the value of the installment, I'll divide through uh, by 24. I also divide through by 24. So these two will cancel out. Therefore, each installment will be given by 16,128 divided by 24. You feed this on the calculator, you're going to get 672 shillings. Therefore, it simply means that uh, each monthly installment, each monthly uh, installment, each monthly installment was equal to uh, Kenya shillings, uh, 6, 000, that is uh, 672 shillings. Remember the question wanted us to find the uh, amount of each installment. So it will be 
six seventy two shillings. So the most important formula to remember is that the amount of simple interest will always be equal to the total installments. Similarly, the amount of compound interest will always be equal to the total installment. So once you get the amount of simple interest, you equate it to uh, the total installment, which is the period times each installment, then you get the uh, final answer. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson and don't take it for granted. In case you're new to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.